That's what you call singing. What a way to kick off a show. Love you. Love you. Tell me something, Juliana. What did you think of that performance? I think for me, Jackson has just confirmed he's a full-grown artist. Um, when you're writing a good song, one of the most important things with a good song is a catchy chorus, and a chorus that's memorable. Where you have the verse starting with the very low notes, and when you get to the chorus, it starts to build, and that's how you capture someone's emotions. And you have that. All right, I see. Okay, Hermes, what do you think of the performance? Well, Jackson, I think uh, by a mile, you're one of our best contestants we have in this, uh, in this season. You know, what I like about you is that you have self-belief, you have confidence, and definitely you have soul. And another thing in that song, for me, I, it felt like a song that it's already been recorded, not a song that you just wrote probably a week ago. It was a very good song. It's, or, it's still in my head. And Mr. Mbugwa? <laughs> it's ready for the studio. So, Jackson, yes. what do you think about the performance? What do you think about the performance? First of all, I want Hello, hello, Wanda. Hello, Wanda. Hey. I, I miss my country. All right. Um, about uh, performance, I like. You liked it, huh? Yes, I like. All right. You know, when I play the guitar, when he plays the guitar, et je chante, and you sing, et je vois de belles and, and, and I see smiles all over the place. When I see de belles smiles, when I see belles smiles, that means there are belles filles and they smile. So, so. You, hey, like you're going to take you're going to take all the women. Arrête, huh? Stop, huh? <laughs> Let, let's go to the let's go to the to, to, to the faculty before you become a, a danger to your own health, huh? <laughs> uh huh. So let me see. Ah, uh, voice coach Kavutha. Yes. <clears throat> voice coach Kavutha. What do you think of the performance? I think it was wonderful. I think for me, Jackson's a well-rounded musician. He has a wonderful voice, he's a wonderful songwriter, and he has a great spirit to go with it. I wish him all the best. I do. All right. Yeah. Let's give it up for Jackson Kalimba. On with the show. And our next contestant is a lady who spent most of this season on probation. But last week, she was safe as houses. <laughs> Uh, I would say my greatest influence in this song is Lauryn Hill. Uh, in a song I, I love a lot, it's called I'll Get Out. The messages are pretty similar. It's, it's about setting a dove free, letting it out of the cage. Yeah, it's, it's freedom and letting loose of something that doesn't add value. I am proud of me. I like it very much. And it's, it's got so, a lot of me inside. Setting a dove free, releasing it from its cage. I've never seen so many smiles on Doreen's face than last week. And performing Black Cinderella, an original composition. Please, ladies and gentlemen, welcome Doreen. <laughs> So you, I figured God took his time on you. And when you touched me, I swear that you were the one. But oh, when you kissed me, that was heaven on earth. Joey, when Moraika didn't know you'd be the dead of me, then you come around and call me a black Cinderella. Took me a while to see it and say it in your face. The umbrella is down. I see your face now. You thought you'd break me, but no. Hey. I will 
Being on probation all through the season doesn't mean that much, or does it, Ian? <laughs> Doreen, Doreen, Doreen. I thought Jackson was a hard act to follow, but I think you did yourself proud. Yeah. Judge Hermes. What's up, Doreen? Hi. First thing first, I like that song. First, I, liked, I liked the whole composition the arrangement, how you placed your vocals in that song. Apart from that, it's the message that came through that song as well. It's so inspirational. For me, I feel like it's one of those songs that needs a right video. You put it out there, and it might even end up being one of the biggest songs. Judge yeah. Juliana. Um, Doreen, I have two things I like with your composition. First of all, when you're writing a song and you give it a unique title, you said it's Black Cinderella. It's going to get everyone's attention, like, what is she talking about? That's so cool. And then also, you chose a style that is not common. It's unexpected, something along Adele, Mary J. Blige, and that is unique. That is what an artist is supposed to do, stand out and not try to be like anybody else. But just a piece of advice, when you're singing your own composition, make sure we hear all the words. And like when you're singing a Whitney Houston song, when we know all the lyrics, we might just miss the good message in your song. Doreen, was this song from personal experience? Some of it. Did somebody let you down? Who did? <laughs> Who? <laughs> Tell me. They know. Huh? They're probably watching. But we'd like a comment from Principal Helen. Are you proud of Doreen's work? Most definitely. At some, se at some point, I had like she was singing, Ian, Ian, Kuteresa, <laughs> Sio <laughs> <laughs> But I think you're a very strong woman. This is, this is proof that you can actually make it not just here at TPF, but you make it big out there. Thank you. Right. Congratulations. Once again, a big round of applause for Doreen and all the very best of luck. Whoa, this is Tusker Project Fame, season five. And ladies and gentlemen, coming up, we've got a lot of great performances for you, but. I just can't believe what is happening on Facebook and on Twitter. Sheila, can you imagine people are saying, are you sure these are their own compositions? Yes, these they songs are. sound too good. <laughs> we need to do an investigation. Yes, they are. We can tell you that all these songs you're going to hear tonight are straight from all of these superstars. 
In fact, check this out. We had a competition in the academy, and Sharon, believe it or not, you won. Okay, there's a fan who was supposed to write lyrics for all of these contestants. Now, this is from a lady from Uganda, Hadija Nalukenge. So this is the chorus, very simply. Your voice lifts me to such heights. Your smile and style is to kill for. Mitch's jokes are as priceless, but I, tra I would trade them for you. Juliana is cute, but when you step on stage for a while, I should forget the house. Sharon, there might be an ad antidote required to make Ian smile more often. I thought Hermes had a killer smile, but Sharon, that was before I saw yours. Girl, you really rock East Africa. Sharon, go on, rock East Africa. <laughs> Fantastic lyrics. Thank you very much, Hadija. But this is just the tip of the iceberg. We've now got Sharon doing her song coming up right after this. All right, now, if you're looking for talent, if you're looking for people who are creative, if you're looking for opportunities to become a superstar, you've come to the right place. This is Tusker Project Fame Season 5. Now, creativity is just the word. It's only when you bring it to life that it has true meaning. It can be, oh, a broken heart. It could be my dreams. It could be my passion. And ladies and gentlemen, the person who's coming up next is somebody who's done just that. Let me introduce you to Sharon. Yeah, I'm so, so happy with that song. I just, I just feel good when I sing about, you know, singing something that you really feel, it's, it makes you feel so great and you're like, okay, that's really what I really want to do. On Sunday night, I'll be dedicating the composition that I made to all the mamas out there. Yeah, including my mom. Ladies and gentlemen, Chokamwe Munange. This one is Sharon. She's singing a song called Mama. Give it up for Sharon. This morning I woke up early I thought about the best thing that I've got My friend, my hero, my guy Mommy, you're such a miracle Everywhere I look I see none like you I saw a lot of you say I saw a lot of you say I saw a lot of you're such a miracle. When I'm sad, you comfort me and say it'll be okay. Chorina, 
Now that was a deep song. In fact, it would be criminal if I didn't send it out to all the mothers out there. My mother. Hey, mom, what's up? Yeah, yeah I'm on TV, I'm saying. <laughs> right, to, to Mama Joy, everybody. Okay, now back to business. Hey, Hermes, yeah. what do you think? Sharon, the song was unique, but I think the most creative part that I liked on this one was the last one the way you ad-libbed, I think today you sounded totally different because the other times I felt like you could, not, you could not really place the vocals where they're supposed to, to be when you ad lib but today, because you understand the song, you wrote it yourself, you nailed it. Thank you. Brilliant. Huh? You said yesterday you speak Luganda. You, you said you speak Luganda. I liked, I think your mother would be proud of you, proud of the performance. You look really lovely, you look really controlled. As uh, in the songwriting, I didn't find it very, very catchy because I was looking for a hook and it wasn't there, but it was an, an okay performance. Okay. And Juliana, you who truly understands the value of being a mother. Ian. Do you want to hear a hook? O sobola kuchu se virala na yeto sobola kuchu samama wo. Sing it, babe. Sing it for him. Sing it for him. So I remember that. What you heard in your song, first of all, it's a very emotional song. I was touched as a mother. Um, it's a beautiful, well-written song. And yes, you have some memorable lines there that will make me want to hear the song over and over. You've shown maturity. Thank you. Ladies and gentlemen, let's give it up for Sharon! Yeah.